Congratulations. It looks lovely. What are you waiting for? Open it. In every product, there are embedded emissions. In the EU, the emissions trading system aims to encourage manufacturers to decarbonize by imposing a price on greenhouse gas pollution. But many other parts of the world do not do this. As a result, imported products may be cheaper, but are more carbon intensive. Mmm, sure. One possible side effect of the EU ETS is that we import pollution or export polluting activities to parts of the world with less stringent environmental standards. To avoid this and ensure a level playing field, the Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism imposes a levy on polluting products entering the EU. If a product already pays a fair carbon price for its pollution at home, it will not need to pay the CBAM. If a fair carbon price is not imposed on a product at home, then its importer will need to pay for CBAM allowances in the EU. Yes, we've introduced our own emissions trading system and are using the extra revenue to help decarbonise our industry and society. To continue to export to Europe without paying a significant surcharge for our pollution, we decided to keep the money in-house and invest in cleaner, greener manufacturing processes. Yes, once introduced, the CBAM will impose a tariff on the CO2 emitted by polluters outside the EU, equal to the carbon price paid by polluters within the EU. The system currently allows EU industries an exemption from paying for all their greenhouse gas pollution. This is known as the Free Allocation System under the EU ETS. This will be phased out as the CBAM kicks in. The more EU industries pay for their emissions, the more industries and partner countries will pay under CBAM. Phasing out free allocation can encourage partner countries to accelerate their decarbonisation efforts. CBAM will ensure that polluters pay a fair price for their emissions, both inside and outside the EU. CBAM revenue must be used for a fair and effective transition to climate neutrality. Visit Carbon Market Watch's website to learn more about the CBAM.